so we were just shopping in town and we we're actually looking for shoes for my wife and while we we're in the the shoe shop there um i found these blundstones and i've been wondering about blundstones for a long time they seem to be kind of the the boot of rage lately the problem with them is that they're so expensive like like i have a hard time spending 200 plus dollars on a pair of boots when I already have a set of really high-end boots that still have a lot of life left in them. My Red Wings here, I love these boots and it's hard to spend more money on like Blundstones when I've got a perfectly good set of Red Wings. But the set that we found was on clearance for $60. Why? Because they're maroon. So these boots were originally priced at $200 and because of the color I guess they just didn't sell. They fit me perfectly and when I try these on the store, like you put them on, it feels like they're laced up, they're lightweight, they're just a great feeling boot. But they're a little bit too loud for my fashion sensibilities. So what I'm going to do is see if we can make a homemade deglazing solution to take any of the finish off of here. And that would hopefully allow a black dye to take to the leather. If everything goes well, I'll have a nice black set of Blundstones for 60 bucks. If not, I've still got a really comfortable high-end pair of shoes that I can wear in the shop when I'm working. And it honestly doesn't matter because it's just me out here anyways. Okay, let's do this. All right, we'll start off by making our deglazing solution. And for that, all we're gonna do is use the juice of a freshly squeezed lemon. Uh, I've heard somewhere that that matters. You can't actually just buy the bottled stuff. Not sure why. And then we're gonna use some rubbing alcohol. Now this was 99% rubbing alcohol. Uh, my wife had it laying around from some of the soap making projects she's worked on and so that's what we used. I'm not sure if a weaker solution of rubbing alcohol would work or not, but we just decided to stick with this. The ratio we're going to put this in at is one part lemon juice to 16 parts of the rubbing alcohol. Now I ended up making way too much of the solution in, so I ended up just putting it in a bottle and saving it for later. I'm just testing a little portion of the sole of the boot just to make sure that it's not going to be discolored at all from this little solution that we've whipped up. Everything looks good so we're going to go ahead and start wiping it down. And what I did was I used one rag to apply a fairly wet coat and then I'd quickly wipe it off with another one. And on the left you can see the boot that we've deglazed and on the right you can see the boot as it came from the store. I don't really want the alcohol to soak into the leather too much, I just want to wipe off and kind of uh, get rid of the coatings that are on the surface of the leather. Now we can move on to putting the dye. This is just a gel based dye that I got from Tandy Leatherworks and the color is called Vintage Black. Applying fairly generous amounts and working it into the leather quite rigorously and then multiple coats. Alright, well here's the difference so far between the two boots. And we'll go ahead and put the dye on the second boot. Now I'm just going over with a water-based finisher, kind of like a top coat for this dyed leather. And voila! I've got a brand new set of boots and a color that I can actually appreciate. Alright, well I'm really, really happy with the way these turned out. Um, it's not black, I'd used black dye, but I guess, you know, it just didn't quite soak into the leather the way it would if it was like brand new leather. Um, and a few spots you can still kind of see the burgundy coming through a little bit there, but it's not that real popping burgundy, not that real bright colored boots that I had purchased. So, this was a really fun Saturday afternoon project, really glad I did it. I saved myself $140 on a set of Blundstone boots, and also this is an exclusive color. Uh, they don't make this color of boot, these are exclusive to me. So. That's kind of nice. You can put your own touch on them and, you know, not like I visit like fashionista people and it's not like they'd ever look at my boots and say, oh my word, what kind of boots are those? How did you ever get that color Blundstone? But if there were those kind of people, I could look at them and say, I did that myself. Really happy with the way these turned out. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.